Hi Year 11, I'm just making a very uh, brief video that will go over the two sample responses that I've provided in regards to the feedback for question 11 um, from your yearly exams. So I just want to go through them uh, pretty quickly just to highlight areas that were done well um, with students who had achieved the highest mark, you know, the five marker, and just so any feedback you're getting or any any written feedback on your answer, if you're unsure and you don't know what that means, if it, if it might say you need to provide more specific examples, you might need to be clearer with your argument. At least if I can show you this, it, it can make it a bit clearer. So these two samples here and here um, are both from students that have sat this um, in your year group, uh, but I've, I've made some changes myself. So this is not just something I've made up, it's, just, it's something that I've worked with from students. Um, but let's begin. So this one is regarding individuals. And as it, if you've read the feedback, I made it really clear. The question is really important because it's asking you to choose either the contribution of religion uh, to individuals or society and culture, not both. And unfortunately, if you chose both in your response, you were not giving yourself enough time to be specific enough to one or the other. So in regards to individuals, this one has a clear, straightforward topic sentence. You know, religion has significantly contributed to individuals, particularly through providing meaning, creating a sense of belonging, and instructing ethical guidance. And in my opinion, any topic sentence it should be just a simple formula. Um, a topic sentence equals uh, answering the question and introducing the topic. And so answering the question is here significantly contributed to individuals and the topics you are introducing are providing meaning, creating a sense of belonging and ethical guidance. Topic centers don't need to have anything else, no, nothing fancy. All the reader needs to know is what your answer is to the question and what you're going to talk about. So that's the topic sentence there and then we go straight into, if, you, if you're reading the, the topic sentence, you know that the next thing we're going to be talking about is meaning. So individuals constantly search for meaning and religion contributes to this search through providing answers to the big questions and by providing purpose to an individual's life. Unfortunately, in a lot of responses, this part here was understood. A lot of students were doing this. They are identifying that uh, religion does provide meaning for individuals and provide purpose, but they were identifying that bit of information as the example, which it is not. That is just the important information. You then need to go beyond that, just a tiny bit, even though it's only five marks, you need to go beyond that and find an example to show how that, to prove that. So, next sentence. This is evident in the Jewish faith through the covenant, which provides meaning through their faith in God and purpose in the individual's life. And so then we're narrowing it down to a specific religion and a specific belief or practice. Uh, moving on. So, in addition, so using some additive language there, in addition to providing meaning, religion contributes to individuals by creating a sense of belonging. Religion allows individuals who share the same beliefs to come together, and this is evident through Christians attending church on Sunday, so one example there, and Jews attending the synagogue on Saturday, another example there. Religion also contributes to individuals by providing ethical guidance. All religions are strongly founded in establishing how to live a morally appropriate life, and that is not an example that is just elaborating on what ethical guidance is. For example, the commandment thou shall not kill from the book of Exodus establishes the importance of every individual life, whereas the scripture, blessed are the merciful, from the book of Matthew, motivates individuals to treat others with mercy. It's really important, so these are very clear-cut examples. But a lot of students were very good at sort of identifying that the, com the Ten Commandments are really important in regards to moral guidance or ethical guidance, but you cannot put a quote in any response without referring where it's from. Okay? By doing this, if you're talking about the Ten Commandments, if you're talking about the Beatitudes, which are very common uh, common for, uh, pieces of Scripture to use, you need to know where they're from. Okay? Um, if you don't do that, then you're showing the reader that you don't know what you're talking about and that you are getting something off the top of your head. Okay, and just to wrap it up, it's a five marker, just, just to wrap it up, you know, re-answer re the question, therefore religion contributes notably to individuals. You don't need to, be, you know, beat around the bush, just get straight to the point. Um, one other thing I really want you to read over this with yourself if you, when you've got time is to think about the language. 
you know, so if you look at the question, okay, uh, using examples, uh, discuss the contribution of religion to individuals or society and culture, you need to think about the language, the contribution of religion to individuals and think about how often that's being used here. Because every time that's being used, you're putting a, a signpost or a flag in your response saying, look, I'm answering the question. Okay, so moving down to religion, contribution of religion to society and culture, if you chose this one. Um, religion has contributed to society and culture. There you go, answering the question. Uh, most notably through social cohesion. There you go, introducing topics, the arts and social justice. Religion contributes to society by creating social cohesion, where people can be united together through the shared values and ideals in relation to their faith. Okay, that's just elaborating on what that means. Now, here's an example. The Hajj, for example, is an annual pilgrimage to Mecca that unites Muslims from all over the world, thus creating social cohesion. In addition, religion has positively contributed to society through architecture. And here we've got some examples, such as the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, and art, such as the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Okay, it's more concise, this sentence here, but it gets straight to the point. Answer the question, but it also gives examples. Religion also contributes to the promotion of social justice in society. The promotion of social justice in Christianity is evident in the story of the Good Samaritan in the book of Luke, where the idea of supporting the vulnerable and needy has contributed significantly to society. Furthermore, this notion of social justice motivated by religion is apparent in the Christian organisations such as St. Vincent de Paul and the Salvation Army that work towards the benefit of the disadvantaged. Therefore, religion contributes significantly to society and culture. I hope this analysis has, has been somewhat helpful in maybe elaborating on um, some things you already knew or clarifying things that you didn't. Um, just the big thing is that I really want you to try and focus on, especially the five markers, understanding the question really clearly and just getting straight to the point, answering the question, using the language of the question to show that you're answering the question. And also to use examples, okay? And also when you're using examples to think outside the box a little bit. Um, when you think about you're competing against all these other students from around the state, and a lot of students are going to use the same, you know, same bits of scripture, same ex examples. But if you can think slightly out the side of the box, um, it will stand out and be a much more sophisticated response. Um, I'm more than happy to talk to any student that's unhappy with um, something or they're not sure about anything in regards to this um, this section of the exam. Um, even if you want me to clarify something, um, please feel free to come see me. Anyway, I hope this has helped, and um, yeah, best of luck with Year 12. Thanks.